What an exciting sound, the sound of the trumpet, hey? That's the Lord's trumpet. But I um, just want to welcome you to church and uh, we're going to have a great day of praising the Lord together. Even if we can't sing, um, we can sing in our hearts. And it says, when two or more are gathered, he's there in the midst, amen? And just as I've been preparing this week for what to bring, uh, there's been a lot that come about the bride returning. As Pastor Rob preached last Sunday about her coming back and being prepared but I just felt impressed on my heart that we need to be ready ready for our king amen and I just want to do some songs about the bride coming in and 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 coming for his his bride that is prepared for him so let's pray thank you heavenly father for this day thank you for your grace and your gifts and your that and your mercies that endure forever thank you that you're a god of love and a lot of, a god of hope that never leaves us nor forsakes us and is always there for us and all god's people said amen amen let's let's worship together
and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 The light of the tribe of Judah, the one who rolls us, you offer us song.
like an infant covered in our own blood but you wipe us and you wash us and you cleanse us Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus your love is amazing Lord so pure and full of love pure and full of hope Jesus hope of the nations Jesus Jesus
just as I was worshipping then, I was sensing the Holy Spirit doing a work, healing people. It may be from a physical ailment, but I just believe it's in the heart. Healing, healing, healing. Healing is a children's spirit. And what child asks for a stone? Does the Lord, does, as for bread, does the Lord give stone, he says. I give healing and I give it freely. Not because of what you've done, but because of what I've done at that cross. And even prior to the cross, I took every stripe, every wound, every transgression I received. I took it in love for you. So reach out to me. Reach out your hands. Reach out your heart. Jesus, I am the lover of your soul. I am your healer. Jehovah Rapha. I am your provider. Jehovah Jireh. I am your banner and the banner over his earth. Jehovah Nisi. So reach out to me today. Receive from me, receive from me, oh my love. Receive from me, receive from me. This healing in my Receive me because I love you. I adore you. I love you.
Good morning, everybody. Beautiful, beautiful worship. Beautiful. I'm going to talk about peace and trust in relationship to the cross. 700 years before Christ, Isaiah the prophet in chapter 26 said, You will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast because he trusts and takes refuge in you. Before the cross in John chapter 14, Jesus is preparing his disciples for what's ahead. And he says to them, don't let your heart be troubled. Believe and trust in God. He was going to, pre I'm going to prepare a place for you and when I go, I will ask the Father to give you another helper. He will be a comforter, an intercessor, a strengthener, a counsellor, a standby and an advocate. And he will teach you all things. My peace I leave, my perfect peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. Then in John 16, 33, he says, I've told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace. In the world you will have trouble and distress, suffering, but be courageous, I have overcome the world. Then in John 20, after the cross and Jesus' resurrection, the disciples are meeting behind closed and locked doors in fear. And Jesus appears and his first words to them are, peace to you. Then after showing them his hands, he again says, peace to you. 
and he breathes on them to receive the Holy Spirit. Eight days later, he comes back again to Thomas, the doubter, and says, peace to you. When we receive Jesus into our lives, we receive his spirit, of which apart from all of the attributes I said previously, we are empowered with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness and self-control. And the reason I've said all this in relation to communion is because in these times we live in, fear is in overdrive, peace is certainly not what people are experiencing, let alone the fruit of patience. We are so blessed to be able to access God's peace and strength and choose to trust him when we're feeling overwhelmed. The Apostle Paul opened all his writings with grace and peace to you. From God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So as we take these emblems that represent the enormous sacrifice that Jesus made for us, I pray God's grace and peace to you all with thanksgiving. Let's pray and then eat and drink together. Hey? Thank you, Father, that you sent your precious Son. Thank you, Jesus, that you came and you did what you did. You laid down your life for us and that you didn't leave us alone. You gave us the gift of your Holy Spirit to empower us to live this life until your return or we go home to be with you. Thank you, Lord. Amen.